not good, huh? Well, you caught the ball. Yeah. Look, um, I, I usually don't you know, give line readings, but let me try this. Here, here. Hollywood ain't holding its breath. Yeah, well, they're doing it wrong. I mean, for Hank. Tell the director. <laughs> I thought I'd give the marriage a few months before I'd go for the meddling wife thing. His arm came back day after he looked up. I say metal. You okay? Just gas. Go help your man. Give me a little room here to work it out. Take it from me, Hank Wigan. Like that? No. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Hi, Brian. Hey. You boys having a little trouble with the big speech? Yeah, you got any ideas? It's your story. Just be yourself. Drugs were there, you took them. Simple. Why'd you get clean? Because I was going to die. And come April, because you're clean, you're starting opening day against the Yanks. Try it our way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the second part first. That'll get him in the groove. Okay. We'll do the throwing thing first. Everybody wants to direct. Going all right. Yeah, he's good. You just bring it, babe. Just tell your story. Roll cameras. Rolling. Sam. Speed. Come on, kid. Show them what you're going to give the Yankees. All right. Action. House. He tested negative for steroids. Elevated beta 2 proteins, though. Could be cancerous. Amyloidosis or lymphoma. Or steroids. You guys got any money on you? He tested negative for steroids. I, um, I have a couple of 20s on me. 50 of them? Foreman? The fat pad biopsy and abdominal CT scan were negative for the cancers, but well, it just leaves us with steroids. He tested negative for steroids. Less money is made by biochemists working on a cure for cancer than by their colleagues struggling valiantly to find ways to hide steroid use. There is one thing they can't hide. Hi, I'm Dr. House, and this is the coolest day of my life. <clears throat> See, steroid use shrinks the testicles. I'm clean, man. No steroids, no nothing. Your lips say no, your prunes say yes. Hypogonadism. Isn't that a great word? Thanks, we don't get to say it nearly enough. Start him on Lupron right away. These freaks are willing to defile themselves for mass entertainment, for money. I feel sorry for them. He drops a clean urine, denies using steroids, then you're giving him a drug for what, steroid abuse? No, no, it's not. No, it's, it's got calcium in it. It's very good for the bones. Basically, at a molecular level, it's, it's just milk. How long do you figure before I get a call from Cuddy? <laughs> you put him on Lupra. Uh-huh. And you told him it was like milk. Yes. Is there any way in which that is not a lie? It's creamy. But I had three reasons. Good ones. Well, we'll see in a minute. I'm just making them up now. He lied to me first. Your mother did teach you two wrongs don't make a right. If he lies to me about not taking steroids and I lie to him about not treating steroids, he's cured. It adds up for me. Second reason. If I told him the truth, he wouldn't have taken the stuff. And if he told you the truth, what would the stuff do to him? Severe respiratory problems. Third reason? I wanted to eliminate the placebo effect. Excellent. You and your lawyer can write a paper. Which brings me to my fourth reason. I thought you said there were only three. I thought you'd buy one of them. Seriously? He's not gonna sue. Because his lawyer is a nice guy who'll realize it's unfair to blame us for ruining this kid's hundred million dollar career. Good guess, but no. If Lupron causes respiratory problems, it means he's not on steroids, which means there's something else wrong with him. And the choices for that something else are almost universally very bad. A 
osteopenia messing his bones up, hypogonadism, impaired liver function, kidney function, and we have managed to find the only professional athlete in the galaxy who is not on steroids. And it's not cancer. So what's killing him? Who shares my suspicions that the Yankees were somehow involved? Shrunken testicles indicate his body's not putting out enough testosterone. Throw out the lungs, that was the Lupron. My fault. Don't worry, I'll send him a nice note. What about something environmental? Arsenic, mercury, the symptoms could Pretty indicate- small environment. Wife's fine, no one else is sick. If you throw out the kidneys, everything else adds up. The testicles, the bones, the impaired liver function could all be caused by a breakdown of his adrenal gland. Addison's disease, I like it. Mainly, of course, because the treatment is... Steroids. Enough irony for all of us. Treatment will cause him to retain fluid. With the kidneys almost shut down already, he'll die. Oh, well, get him a new kidney. Your theory is that Addison's is causing all the symptoms except for the kidney problems. What's causing the kidney problems? Cameron, if you had to make an ironic guess right about now. He tested, he tested negative, negative for steroids. For steroids. Agreed, he's not on steroids now, but if he was on them at any time in the last five years, it could have caused the kidney damage. You see, kidneys don't wear watches. Sure, gallbladders do, but it doesn't matter because kidneys can't tell time. Steroid damage could take years. No steroids. How many times does he have to tell you? I don't know. How many times did he lie about cocaine before coming clean with the league? It's completely different. Oh, that's right. You never did come clean. The League was out to get you. They faked the blood tests. You had to get yourself a lawyer and everything. If Hank says he never used steroids, that's the truth. That's too bad, because our theory is that the kidney damage is caused by A, and everything else is caused by B. The beauty of this theory is that we can treat A and B. But if you add the kidney symptoms back into the mix, then we are looking at another letter altogether, one that is apparently not in the alphabet. Can't fix the bones, no more baseball, no more breathing, no more brain function. Get another explanation. Okay, yeah, I think I got one of my other pants. Hold on. Five years ago, Bangor, Maine, my pitching coach had me on something. I never knew what it was. And you never tried too hard to find out either. I gained 12 pounds of muscle in like four weeks. I'm sorry, man. Hi. Huh? How you doing, Doc? Good. Very good. good. Yeah. If you have the results, I'd like you to talk to both of us. If you don't, I'm late for a meeting. Believe me, I'd much rather be with your better half. And by better half, of course, I mean the one who struck out Sammy Sosa on three pitches and talks a lot less. But I thought I would talk to you first and alone. I got your results back from the lab. You do match. I, I do? <laughs> You're also pregnant. You can't be a donor. Not in your current condition. Um, excuse me. I have to go talk to my husband. Looks good. We can schedule the transplant. No transplant. Lola's not gonna have an abortion. Actually, your wife just told me that she was making an appointment. I don't care what she said. Uh, I think you two need to discuss this further. We've been trying to get pregnant almost since we met. Well, it's your wife's decision whether or not she... She wants to trade a child for a kidney. That's murder. I'm not gonna let her do that. The foreman says we've got a problem about the transplant. If she terminates the pregnancy, he's not going to let himself die on principle. Did you give up a baby for someone you love? Please tell me I don't have to decide. Depends. How long would they live? 
This is a pragmatic question for you. 50 years, no problem. Six months, I say let him die. I've actually given this a lot of thought. My personal tipping point is seven years, eight months, and 14 days. I couldn't do it. You found religion. Do you have to be religious to believe a fetus is alive? There seems to be a correlation. 